Wait here. I'll see if Mrs. Rizendo is available. No, oh, thanks. Hey, would you put these in the vase? What are those for? Oh, they're for last night. I made a mistake and I want to apologize. Were we together last night? <laughs> no. I want to apologize to Mrs. Rizendo. Oh. Hey there, Earl. I don't know where you are. I'm assuming you're up in heaven. But if you're there and you can hear me, I just want you to know I plan on being there someday, too. And if I, if I get there and I live my life without that athletic center money you promised me, I just want you to know I'm going to beat the hell out of you, bud. <laughs> hey! Doing here? What the hell are you doing here? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm having breakfast. In your pajamas? Well, I just got out of bed. What do you want? <laughs> Whose bed did you just get out of? Oh, come on, Hayden. Why don't you just come right out and ask if Pam and I slept together? I don't think my mouth can form the words. <laughs> well, let me help you. Would my hair look like this if I slept alone? Would I be smiling like this? <laughs> get out of here! I can't believe this. You and Mrs. Rizendo? Geez, two years ago, it was Christine's neighbor, Marion. Last year, Mrs. Sorkelson, now Mrs. Rizendo. What is it with you and widows? Maybe a night with me reminds him of the dead husbands. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you are amazing. You know that? Thank you. That's the second time I heard that today. Now, beat it. <laughs> no, wait a minute. I just want to see if we're okay. I mean, I know you and Pam are okay, but are we? If you're out here the next ten seconds, we're fine. But if you mess this up, I've got to wait another year for a woman. You're in trouble. Okay, okay. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Mrs. Rizendo will be right down. Oh, jeez. If you need me for anything else, I'll be on the rifle range. <laughs> Come on. Hey, you gotta hide. I'm not gonna hide. I'll just sneak out. No, that's the only way out. She'll see you. Okay. I've got the window. Oh, no, that's the rifle range. Okay, try it. <laughs> Right? Are you nuts? Okay, get under the desk. I'm not gonna get hide under some damn desk. Hey, get under the damn desk. Come on, come on, take it. Luther, what are you doing? Just pretending to be rich. <laughs> What's up? Martha told me I had a visitor in the library. No visitor. No, I'm the only one here. Mm -hmm. Just me. That's strange. Are you disappointed? Not at all. <laughs> I'd much rather be alone with you. <laughs> well, that's what we are. Alone. You know, Luther, I want to thank you for last night. I thought after Earl died, there'd never be another man in my life. Let alone in my bed. <laughs> I'm thrilled to be in both. <laughs> <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> you are a sweet and loving and attentive man. <laughs> I can't understand how someone like you is friends with Coach Fox. Uh, Hayden and I have known each other a long time. I just wish you knew the guy I knew. The guy I know is deceitful, overbearing, obnoxious, and completely oblivious to other people's feelings. Yeah, I guess you do know the guy I know. <laughs> but he's getting better. It's just, he gets kind of nuts when it comes to this athletic center thing. That damned athletic center. Yeah. Luther, I've just been struck by a desire which 48 hours ago would have been inconceivable. Can I finish my orange juice? I'll need fluids. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's not that. The truth is, I love being with you, and I want Coach Fox out of our lives forever. You gonna have him killed? That isn't where I was going, but that's not a bad plan B. <laughs> where were you going? I was going to suggest giving him his athletic center. What? <laughs> we'll never have a moment's peace if we don't. Ten million dollars is a small price to pay to get him out of our hair. This is unbelievable. I'll write the check now. When you see him, you can give it to him. Yeah. I don't even want him in the house. Yeah, well, I'll make sure he gets it. I should be seeing him soon. This is typical. There's never a pen when you need one. Thank you. <laughs> Shh. Wow, J. 
check for $10 million. You know, I feel liberated. I'm finally free of Coach Fox. <laughs> Let's go upstairs and change and take a